do you ever have those pieces in your collection that maybe you got years apart and then you're like, how did I ever find matching figures? Like not even close together. Like not, not I'm not even talking about time. I mean, geographically, uh, stage of life, whatever. And then you just stumble upon the mate. Like, well, I've had one of those moments and I want to share that moment with you. Hey friends, it's me, the Ebony Otaku, the well-rounded nerd. So this might be one of my quickest videos ever. Okay, she says that, but we all know homegirl can ramble for days. Uh, but something really cool happened. So we just got back from vacation at the time of filming this. Like, what day is it? I don't know. May the 20-something. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you know how it is when you get home from vacation. You just... You just do the settling of down. You get back into your routine. Vacation was fantastic. I did a lot of posting while we were down in Cozumel, Mexico. We went snorkeling. We ate too much because it was an all-inclusive resort. Um, we took lots of underwater pictures, which I've got to get those off the camera and the videos and, and do something with those. Um, you know, we saw some really cool shows. We went shopping. That's where these came from. Like, so... This actually connects directly to what I'm going to talk about with these Transformers. So this necklace here, I know it's beautiful, isn't it? One of my favorite combinations of black and pink. It works. Might be why I like Hello Kitty so much. Black and pink is like literally one of my favorite combos. Um, or black or gray and pink. That's a good combo too. Um, bright, bright color with a neutral. Well, technically a shade. Black and gray are shades, aren't they? Anyhow, we're not here to talk color theory. That's for Warhammer video. But yeah, this necklace here that I'm wearing, uh, that I just, I woke up and chose it because I wanted to wear these earrings. I got this necklace in Chapas, Mexico, down in a town called um, Palenque. And Palenque is a place, um, I, I've, I've actually spent a good portion of my life there. I once considered becoming a full-time missionary. Um, and I went and lived in a mission there for a little bit over a month. Um, and they took me out into the countryside and stuff and just really understood what life was like, what it really meant to be a missionary. Obviously that's not the route I chose to go with my life for reasons. Um, but it's a place I've been multiple times. Um, it's near some Mayan ruins, which are really cool. If you can ever take a ruins tour, of like Mexico or Central America, South America, like totally do it. Just the history, the, it, you don't understand these pyramids until you're next to one. Um, I would love to see the pyramids of Giza, but from what I understand, it can be a little difficult to do tourism in Egypt if you don't know exactly what you're doing. And I like my traveling to be easy. <laughs> and Mexico's easy. I understand Mexico. I understand South America. Um, so I, I've gone there quite a bit, and I've gone to many different ruin sites. Um, I've gone to one ruin that was way out in the jungle. Like, not only was a was it a six-hour car ride from, like, Oh, God, was it six hours? Yeah. So we landed in a town called Via Hermosa, which from, let me think, Mexico City or Monterey. It's like a two-hour plane flight. Um, so I don't think you could drive it because I think parts of Mexico, there aren't roads because desert. Um, but we landed in Via Hermosa, and then it's like three hours to get to Palenque, which that's a town that's really, it's cool little, cool little mountain town. Uh, but there's Mayan ruins there. But I also got the opportunity uh, while I was doing, you know, mission exploring to go see some ruins way, way out. I went to a town called Frontera Corzal, which is way down there. I mean, way down there in the Yucatan Peninsula, like butts up against um, Guatemala. And we took like a two hour boat ride down the river to see some ruins. Holy cow. Um, it was insane. It was in, I know, like the roots of trees were three times as tall as I am. Not the tree, the roots of the tree. Um, like there's just monkeys swinging through the trees. I climbed a, a Mayan ruin pyramid. Like it was cool. It's hard to understand the magnanimity of those things until you see them up close. But anywho, I digress this <laughs> so this particular necklace I got in Palenque I remember when I got it um me and a group that I was with I told y'all I do Taekwondo and we go to Mexico quite a bit and do Taekwondo with young people all over the country um because Mexico's huge Mexico's like the biggest country for Taekwondo in the world so we spend a lot of time there uh, me and my my Taekwondo group and we were just sitting at a, at a taco shop literally having lunch it was great delicious and a guy came up who was selling jewelry which I'm all for I'm very pro jewelry. And I bought this necklace from him with a pair of matching earrings that were in this little geometric shape as well. 
good God, that was like seven or eight years ago. And the earrings, I have one of them. One of them is, and then there's a bracelet that goes with the set too. God knows where it is. Like I've lost stuff over the years. Like I once lost a ruby earring in the back of a, of a Uber in Cary, North Carolina. And it makes me sad to this day. Whatever. I've gotten really good jewelry to replace it since then. Every girl needs a jewelry collection. But I got this necklace and I've loved it. But I quit wearing it because I didn't have anything to really go with it. It's it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, one of the things that a lot of the native cultures do uh, where there's tourist stuff for ruins and pyramids and stuff in Mexico is they are allowed to make jewelry and sell it on property. And um, there's just certain stuff the Mexican government only lets them do because that's a way for them to always make money, which I'm all for. Uh, support First Nations. Um but I got this seven or eight years ago. Good God, it may have been a decade ago that I got this. I've had this for a long time. And I probably haven't worn it in a couple of years. Well, this year when we went to Mexico uh, to Cozumel for vacation, so a very different kind of trip, uh, we went to downtown uh, uh, there in Cozumel. We went shopping, and there was a little shop where I bought a really cute beach bag from. Um, but she had these earrings hanging uh, up at the cash register. You know how they do. You know how every store does. You know, those impulse buys at checkout. Well, that's what these were. And I was like, I think I have a necklace that matches those. These were bought in totally different parts of the country. A decade apart. And they are perfectly in sync with one another. Sometimes the good Lord blesses you to complete a set many, many years apart from when you got the original. And that leads us into today's Transformers. Now, don't judge my box. He's moved. And he got, I think something fell on him in the move. So please don't judge this Optimus Prime. But this was a really interesting figure. I don't think he's anything valuable. I bought him at a Walgreens sometime during the thing. Good God, I hate doing that with language. But y'all know what I mean. Um, but that's when he was purchased. I went through a season of don't say no to myself. Um, because we all, we all dealt with that time in different ways. Uh, as someone who travels for work, when I first came off the road, I was like, I was stir crazy. I was like, get me out of here. I cannot do this. This is not for me. <laughs> you know? Um, but you know, I started figuring out ways to, to, to do more at home. I hung out with friends more. There's a couple of really good girlfriends I have that I got much closer to during that time because us and all the kids, we all just hung out all the time, went swimming, backyard picnics, uh, bought my camper during that time. So I became a camping nerd and I, I still really love camping. Uh, just all the, all those kinds of things. Learned to cook some new stuff. Uh, when my Taekwondo school was closed, uh, there was some uh, some elementary schools near where I live. So I would just go to the parking lot and practice Taekwondo for two or three hours by myself several times a week. So, you know, but I also engaged in some retail therapy. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with retail therapy, especially when it comes to action figures. And this is one that I purchased. Got him at a Walgreens. And he wasn't more than 10 or $12. He was not expensive. This is an Optimus Prime. And this is a series of figure that I actually don't recognize. He he is a, a not a Hasbro uh, up here in the corner. You see that? I don't know much about this company. It says Jada. Oh, he might have to get unboxed. The box is real janky. Uh, but it says Autobot Optimus Prime. Uh, the Transformers Heroic Autobot. Ages 8+. Plus. And remember on this channel what we say wear the plus uh but he's not one i don't believe that this figure transforms i think this is a statue so kind of like a like a hot wheel that kind of thing um i can't confirm because i've not opened him up but this has to be a license type of thing um totally made in china uh but here's the back of the box because the, I mean, this was at Walgreens, so I don't think at Walgreens they sell unlicensed stuff. That's where I got this, like hashtag not sponsored. I'm just letting you know the history of the figure. But I was real happy to find him. I was just, you know how I do. I just be making detours in stores. I mean, it's not my fault that they sell the dish detergent in the same store as the action figures. Not my fault. Um, I stand by that and always will. <laughs> but yeah, so I got this Optimus Prime. It's got everything on here. Look, it's got the modern meets the eye. Right there, focus. Oh, I'll get out of focus so it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. Ha, more than meets the eye. So he's great, but it's Optimus without his truck bed. But it was a one-off. I never looked for anything that matched this. Like, he was inexpensive. He was there. I was having a day. I made myself smile with a little, with a transformer. And you should too. 
Um, <laughs> you know, what, what do we say on this channel? We love our escapism. Escapism is good for us. Yes? Yes. Um, it's good to get your head out of the real world and, and stick your head into a fantasy world for a little while. Nothing wrong with it. So I was real happy to find him, but I never considered that there was more of him because, again, it was it was a one-off. Well, we just returned from vacation, and when we got back, my husband took the son uh, to a local nerd shop, and he sent me a picture. Hot Rod. Obviously in the same style as the other figure. This one is branded, where is it? It's on here, I saw it. Yeah, this one says it's Hasbro branded. I got the way. Yeah, it says it's Hasbro branded. Also, it's for us plusers as well. Um, a little more to him. I do believe that this one, yeah, this guy will transform. So it says Autobot Hot Rod. And on the front, I don't know where this came from, but Autobot Cavalier. What does that mean? I've never heard that before. Um, and you know, he's got his weapons and stuff. So obviously a much bigger box than the Optimus Prime. So they were out at a... Um, the hobby store and he sends me this picture he says do you have this and he's like i know you love hot rod but do you have this hot rod and i was like i do not and i don't know what he cost because he would not tell me <laughs> i was like well how much is it because if you found it at one of them stores it's got to be some money um but this particular figure where what does it say 2017 is when it was created so let me look at this one when were you created when did this um This one says 2022. So, yeah, a couple years ago. So, yeah, it was right at the end of the panorama um, is when I got this. So, this says that this licensure went out in 2017. I don't know which was made first. I've never seen these figures before. There's so many series. Like, I get questions like, are you collecting this one or that one? Look, if I collected everything, I would need to call Dr. Suzanne Chabot to come help me out. <laughs> if you know that reference, you are my people. Um... You know, but that, that's not where we are. We ain't calling Dr. Robin Zazio today to help us out. Uh, but so I, I have a few restraints I put on myself when it comes to collecting because I don't want to uh, overwhelm my space. You know, if I cannot display something and enjoy it, it cannot come in. Um, luckily, I live in a nerd house, so we can take over the house with our nerdity. Everyone doesn't have that. And if you don't, I'm so sorry. Your nerdy match is out there. I promise. Um... Okay, I can't make that promise because I don't control the universe, but I hope so. I hope so. Um, but yeah, so he texted me and asked me if I wanted this. I was like, totally. But look, look, look. This is why I think they come from the same series. And if I'm wrong, I don't know. I've not. I don't know anything about these figures because they are one-offs to me. I know about the studio series and the red statues, and you know, y'all, y'all keep talking about my, my, <laughs> my acquisitions back here, my, my Omega and my Metroplex. They're not for sale. Okay, but they will always be back there. They're my boys. And, and for those of you who are like, oh, the shelf's going to fall. Look, I put something there. Exactly. I had a book that fit in there perfectly. Look, it's supported. They are not coming down. It's all good. But let, let's, let's look at these together. So we got some similarities going. So first is the way the box art looks. This kind of grid thing going on. He's got like the same grittiness. Yeah, yeah, you can see it better on the side. Same kind of grid structure going on in the box art. So that's clue number one. They're from a similar series, but this one doesn't say Hasbro on it. This one does, and this is a version of the, if you hear noise back there, I don't live alone, so um, and I'm not editing this out, <laughs> but this is not the Hasbro logo that I'm used to seeing. Suspicious. I know what I said. Um, so there's that. Uh, this one does not transform. It's obviously like a, a truck, a Tonka truck type thing where you just, woo. um, this one does transform, but then look at the lettering on the boxes. The titling of the characters is done in the same fashion. So transformer, Autobot, Cavalier, Hot Rod, whatever that means. And then Autobot, Optimus Prime. So these are definitely labeled in the exact same way. So They've got to be related to one another somehow. I just don't know how. <gasps> Y'all, look at the top here. It tells you how to trip. I might be able to transform this one. But I don't know what he is yet, so I don't, I don't want to unbox him until I know what he is. Um, 
So I guess this might be a video where I am genuinely asking a question. Does anyone know anything about this figure series? They obviously look related. They were produced at different times based on the numbering on the box. I know this box is tragic. It hurts me too. But if you know anything about them, I would love to know. Now, I know it's the age of Google and I could just go look it up, but pff, where's the fun in that? Let us engage in the comments and talk about it. <laughs> so if you know anything about um, All Hot Rod and Opti here uh, from, I don't even know what series this is from? Obviously Transformers, but I don't, I don't, I don't even know what figure series this is. But so interesting. Oh no! Well, there is a has. This is the Hasbro logo I'm looking for. So it is a licensure. There's a Hasbro logo on the bottom of this. I turned it over and saw. It. I've never thoroughly looked at this. I bought it because it was Optimus Prime and it was ten bucks. Um, so yeah, it says authentic Transformer on it. So yeah, it, it is the real deal. It is a Hasbro. It looks like it's a licensed. You know, with what whoever. Uh, Jada is never heard of them. Um, nobody can know everything, but yeah, what, what do you know about these? You know, have you seen these before? Are there more of these? Not saying she's starting a whole new Transformer collection. Nobody said that. Um, nobody said that. Uh, but interesting. Yeah, I, I think so. I'd love to know more about them. So let's, uh, let's chit chat about it down in the comments. So as always, please like comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.